Have you ever wondered why your muscles burn out during a workout, they fatigue, or slow down when you're exercising? Now, there's a lot of fighting in the field of exercise science of what is the main one. And most likely, it's a combination of these things that are causing fatigue during exercise, or both contributing at the same time, depending on the mode of exercise you are doing. So let's break it down. First, we have the central fatigue theory. Essentially in this theory, your brain or your spinal cord or your central nervous system tap out, which essentially means that you involuntarily stop producing as much power or power output or producing force at the same level or the same extent, meaning you either slow down or can't move the weight or whatever you're doing in your fitness, you start to fatigue. The next is the peripheral fatigue theory. This essentially means that at the neuromuscular junction where your nerves meet your muscles, there are imbalances that are occurring that are causing reductions in power and force output. You can think of this like your muscles kind of short circuiting under stress. They're not as sensitive or responding to the signals that your muscles are giving them. And therefore you fatigue, slow down, tap out, whatever that looks like. And the third and last one is the energetic or metabolic theory of fatigue. Essentially this means your body is unable to produce energy from ATP, the main energy molecule that gets broken down for energy release. And whatever it is you're trying to do requires energy. This can happen from reduction in things like your glycogen stores or falling of blood glucose, running out of essentially energy reserves to pull from and fuel the production of energy output during activity. Essentially your phone battery is on 1% and you're running out of juice to keep going. There's likely not one main contributor to your fatigue during exercise or training. It's likely multiple systems in your body coming together, causing you to slow down. It depends on the intensity, duration, style of training you're doing, or your individual fitness levels. And most importantly, fatigue is not caused by lactic acid. If you want me to debunk that one, let me know below. I'll do it in my next run rant.